good, somewhat chilly Wednesday. It's a little afternoon. Dark dirt over there, breezy. We had five, a half an inch on Monday and two tenths yesterday. I don't think we can, I don't know, I'm gonna go check later to see if I can do some disking. But I think I'm gonna, I open that up. I think I'm gonna pull the planter out, get that cleaned up so it can be put away. I got two new boxes on the seed tender, hooked to the truck here, got the last two boxes up here. And why is the bike laying here in the middle of the floor? Barb got the lawnmower out. I think she dragged the bike with it. I think the bike was hooked on the lawnmower. Anyways, I got the duels off that yesterday. And like I said, I want to get that cleaned up so I can put it in here, right here where this sits and it'll be done. We just loaded a load of beans. I knew I'd have to start draining the two sumps and turn the sweep arm on, which I did right at the very end. So I didn't have to shovel hardly anything. Next load, we'll have to shovel and use the leaf blower. But I went in because with Barb's ankle, so which she is getting better. So hopefully she thinks she can start disking tomorrow. So that would be good because it's not like she has to push the clutch in a lot of times. As far as rock picking goes, we're kind of bypassing that for now. If we have to go back with the loader and pick some, so be it. But yeah a lot of pushing the clutch for that while she was out here she gave me a haircut so and i went to the goatee for the summer instead of the beard so that's the plan and hopefully the next three four days of decent weather depending on which you know weather station you listen to because god forbid that you know two fucking local stations can agree on something yeah my curtains are blowing around here it's kind of windy today but that helps dry shit up so i'm gonna go play with the planner i hate washing shit because i hate looking at it afterwards and going oh look it looks dusty on the back of the fertilizer hopper covers there oh look you know it looks it looks dirty there uh, there ain't shit you can do about it so I got things I need to change for next year. I got it measures. I'm putting new fertilizer discs on it, definitely. I uh, got some of these that obviously need to be changed. They're getting in rough shape. I got to measure like the seed discs. I think I'm putting the new no-till coulters on it. I'll probably put seed chains on it. I don't know about the drive chains up here. On the wheels, I gotta look at them. I can just get rolls of chain to do that anyhow. I can probably just get rolls of, I don't know if that's 40. Looks like 40. The seed chain. I'll have to price it and see what they get for them. But yeah, I mean this, even with hot water, the film that's on here from me spraying these chains, I'll tell you what, that freaking lithium grease spray stays on these chains good these two chains are still in good shape look at this shit you can't even wash it off so once you freaking once i spray that shit down again that works good but i mean it's clean but you know this shit here the streaks streaky stuff that yeah and for somebody who says well you need to wax it yeah my address is in the description of the videos Feel free to come and wax it. So, I don't know if I can disc anything this afternoon or not. It's been sunny. It's cool. It's in the 60s. But there's a nice breeze. I probably won't be stupid and go try and, you know, disc up. Make mud, in other words. It ain't going to be mud, but you farmers know what I'm talking about. You don't really want to be playing in dirt that could use an extra 12 to 15 hours of drying time so now I'm gonna go over and grease it Barb's mowing the lawn so she's getting along all right with that when she gets done she can help me get this back then and put away no I'm not ordering any of that shit now it's you know May 29th or whatever it is and we got 150 acres of beans to get in still that will be a parts order for next spring and if we get time to fuck with it in the fall we will if not it'll be put it all out in the spring 
you know, not three weeks into planning like certain YouTube farmers wait to do. Alright, so letting it sit in the sun for a little bit more so I can oil <coughs> like these chains. And I'm going to oil those two drive chains on the two drive wheels in there. I may take them off or replace them. I don't know. I'm not going to bother to oil the seed chains because I'm going to change them. But I'm going to grease it. Like I said, I'm letting her drip dry a little. <coughs> so while I was eating lunch earlier, because it's like 4 o'clock right now. I uh, was reading through some of the comments of the video that I just put out. So let me address something real quick. All right, I make my smart ass comments about, you know, coal the corn puke and beefus egg and whatnot. Somebody made a comment in my comments about, you know, these people get under your skin. Well, for those of you who've been around forever, I don't give a fuck about anything. So no, not much gets under my skin. What gets under my skin is if I happen to, like, the only time I ever really watch him is like when corn puke, I, I see a title, like the one he had up where the farm was going to lose $521,000 this year. Oh, so you're going to lose a half a million dollars before you've even put a fucking seed in the ground? Why bother? I mean, how stupid is that? You know, and, and it, what bothers me is the comments from people who don't really know anything about farming that think these people are, oh, you guys work so hard and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, like like doofus, you know. Got to go out and do this with the boys. And, and you know, that's, that's how we make our income, all this custom work. I got a fucking newsflash for you, so pay attention, non-farmers, because you farmers, I think, will agree. Okay, remember the 82-acre custom bean job I had last fall? It kind of was a clusterfuck, you know. Took three days, four days, whatever it was. Waited for trucks, rain, uh, mailbox. We won't go into it. You can go back and look. But I charged $45 an acre. So what is that? $3,600 and some dollars, almost $3,700. Okay, loaded a load of fucking beans this morning. Probably a 1,000 bushel, roughly, the guy had on. At $11.80 a bushel. Do the math on that. How much money did I make on that load of beans? versus three or four days of fucking around doing somebody else's 82 acres of beans. Now, I'm not saying you can't make a little money doing custom work, but right there, that's how I make my fucking money. Right there, that load of beans that come out of one of them bins this morning, that's how I make my fucking money. And the fact that it's almost June 1st, and the last I knew, that dumb fuck doesn't even have anything in the ground yet, because we got to go do all these other things because that's how we're making income. And then the people watching who are clueless are like, hey, you know what you're doing. That's great. Do you remember his test plot? I can't believe he actually showed the results last year. But he had fucking corn that was like 28 to 30 percent and 46 to 48 pound test weight. OK, for you non-farmers, that's really fucking bad. Just so you know. OK, that's. I'm not going to be a farmer for very long, bad, okay? So, as I've said in prior videos, if y'all and I and my family are ever on a sinking ship together, I can promise you one thing, 100%, I am going to try like hell to save my family first. And after I accomplish that, I will try like hell to save you and your family. But anybody that tells me different, that they would go, oh, I'll go save somebody else first, fuck you. No, you wouldn't. You'll save your family first, and that's the same thing here. My shit gets done first, because that's how I make a living. And then if I make a little something doing something else, that's fine. But to put all that something else first, no. So there, that's, I needed to get that out. So what do you think? All right, lithium grease sprayed that. So yes, there's more lithium grease on it. Went through and greased all the grease fittings. Grease those. Yes, you can call them a bearing in the drive there. Greased, uh, oh, you know what I didn't grease? I'd have to put it down to do it. Well, I could do the bottom ones, but the top grease fitting of the arms, I ain't gonna worry about those. Those could be done next spring. But like these, on these arms, for your gauge wheels, I greased all those and I can see it and I could hear it as I was greasing them. A little bit of water push out 
which is why I like to grease things after I wash them. Now, like the, uh, yeah, I can't talk, combine last fall, I greased it after I washed it, and then I ran it for five, ten minutes just to let all the bearings, you know, make sure. Obviously, I'm not going to put the planter down and just run it across the ground for, I mean, that's, no, I'm just not. We'll just leave it at that. Oh, you know what else I forgot to grease? But I can do that in the spring too because I need to write something down. The one pivot point in there. I'll write that on the paper right now because I'm writing down the parts that I need to order. So no big deal that the marker arm joints didn't get greased or that pivot point because the pivot point, I mean, basically you pivot it twice. Once when you get in the field to start planting and then when you leave the field. And if you're like me around home here, I sneak up and down the road, have Barb go up on the hill. Hey, go up on the hill and let me know if anything's coming so I could sneak up there into the next field rather than fuck around and do this. So, yeah. All right, got to move this. Got to move the truck. So, going back to my little rant that I just had. If somebody in the neighborhood's injured a farmer, that's kind of a different story. My father had... The poor bastard. Seemed like he always had health issues his entire life. When I was a little kid, I remember one year, I don't know if, I know he had salmonella one year really bad. Damn near thought we, he was going to die. So I don't know if it was that year or what. But I remember as a kid, one year, the neighbors helping plant. We only had a couple hundred acres of corn. We didn't have any beans. I don't think we started doing beans till I took over. But, because he was sicker than a dog. So... Something like that, you figure it out to be able to help out a neighbor and, you know, shit like that. My point is, this bullshit of, oh, the custom work, that's, you know, it's how I'm making my living. Yeah, whatever. You're making your fucking living by going and doing all that shit to, to make YouTube content to be a YouTube farmer. Which, God bless you, like I've said, those that are monetized, if they're making a fortune on YouTube, that's capitalism. I obviously ain't because they won't let me monetize and I don't give a fuck, but it's just when people see that and think that's what real farming is and oh, that's great. Oh my God. It just, you know, those of us that have been doing it all of our lives are like, um, no, it's not. All right. So I'm disking. It's a little dark, but it's about six, so it's gonna get a couple hours of sunshine still. There's a breeze. I'm basically trying to get something worked up so that I can start planting in the morning and then Barb can start. Or not start, but move on disking. So that's what we're doing. I don't know, I got the magnet. Maybe I'll put it out on the disc. We'll see. <laughs>
I'm back to drilling beans. Barb's over there disking. Hang on. Get back on the row and go here. So she's getting that field ready. There's one up on the hill behind my brother's house. There's one over here on the other side of this neck of woods that she's already got ready. So we are back at it. Truck and seed tender sit up there off the side of the road. Now they say chance of shower Sunday. Today's Thursday. Who knows? One station does, one station doesn't. I'm to the point I don't give a shit anymore. You listen to these people, they never get it right anyhow. So but we're back at it. We'll see where we end up when we get finished. I just got the alert on my phone. Trump was found guilty of all 34 felony accounts. Okay. Yeah, counts. Even though we know they were weren't felonies, they just bumped them up to felonies. Even Alan Dershowitz, who can't stand Trump, said he never voted for him, never would. But he's a legal scholar said this is bullshit so for you haters is this the country you want to live in where now we can uh, you know whatever political parties in control can go after the other one I'm just curious because what a fucking sad country we live in right now I mean it is wow I guess if you can't beat them you gotta try and put them in jail so I'm just going to end this video. I don't know how long it is. I don't care. I'm just fucking tired. Tired of everything. There's shit going on in our lives too that's just... Maybe someday you'll know. I don't know. But it's just th this fucked up world. So here's your one more thing. These work boots that I'm wearing, pretty comfortable. Only problem is one of you, and I forgot your name, made a comment in the last video that you called or you tried you went online to order a pair of these composite toe work shoes like I have and they were out of stock so you apparently emailed or whatever to find out when they'd be in stock whatever and they're discontinued and then you asked another question I think you told me but nobody would reply to you so when I read that, I emailed Clara, and I go, what the fuck, you know? 
oh, sorry for the miscommunication. That, that shouldn't have happened. You know, somebody should have replied. I'm going to turn here. So you're probably going to get whiplash, but work with me. Somebody should have replied to them and blah, 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 blah. And I go, yeah, but what the fuck's going on with the discontinued? Oh, we're, we're, you know, putting out a new model of models of shoes, new line of shoes or whatever. Really? Okay, so why the fuck would you send me, hang on. Why the fuck would you send me a pair of shoes to wear, to try, to break in, to tell you people about if literally less than two weeks later they're going to be discontinued? So, whatever, folks. I mean, they sell lots of different kinds of shoes. The link is in the descriptions of the videos here. You know, I like these. They're comfortable. They're wearing good. Who the fuck knows what their new line's going to be like. So, Clara, if you're watching, because, you know, all you that send these emails out to, to us people on YouTube say, Oh, we watch your content. Yeah, bullshit. If you're watching... I guess you'll have to send me a new pair of fucking shoes from your new line, right? Seeing as the ones you sent me two weeks later, you decided to discontinue? Yeah. So you all make your own judgments. That's why I don't do them kind of videos. Because, you know, I'm not out there trying to make the fucking YouTube money with pumping all the bullshit. So, see you in the next one.